Alright, before it starts to rain, I want to show you guys how to fish a jig. Um, the, I'm not talking about uh, swim jigs or chatter baits or any other kind of jig besides a football head jig or, you know, just a regular casting jig. This one here is a, a football jig. Um, standard color, green pumpkin with a, a green pumpkin and blue trailer. This is a half ounce. Um, depending on how deep that you're fishing, I would say always use either a half ounce or a three quarter ounce. Uh, unless you're fishing really shallow, you can go down to a three eighths. But uh, just want to show you guys how to fish it. Normally, I just cast it out. Once it hits the water, then you're going to want to let it sink until it hits the bottom. Just keep your line on a slack line and watch it until it hits the bottom. Um, once you get it on the bottom, then you're just going to slowly lift your rod up and feel that head just steadily bouncing off the bottom. You want to just pull it real slow. One way, there's two ways I'm going to show you. Um, two that are the most common anyway. This one is probably what I use 95% of the time. Um, so you, you just want to slowly drag it. Feel every little piece on the bottom. And then when you feel a, you feel like some, some hard uh, bottom feeling like rock or, or anything hard you kind of just want to let it sit there for a second and pull it real slow through there um, when you get your bites on this you're gonna you're gonna feel it every time it's it's uh it's it's pretty powerful i mean your whole line goes slack most of the time when they hit it but uh there's another uh 20 to 30 percent of the time i guess where they'll eat it on the actual fall the initial fall so always pay attention to your line when it's first falling and make sure that you're so that initial fall is talking about you cast it out so it's going to hit the bottom all right keep your line semi slack because if it's too slack then you'll you'll miss the complete bite and not all the time will you feel them hit it when that jig is falling you you got to pay attention real close and uh make sure your line's not moving off. You'll be able to tell because the line will start to move off. You'll see it going one way or the other. Um, so pay, pay close attention to your line. Drag it and don't use, I mean you can do it to the side. You can kind of pull to the side and feel it. I feel it a lot better if I hold my rod, my reel in one hand, my rod in the other hand and just slowly pull. That way you feel every little piece. You can always tell what's, what's on the bottom by doing that. Alright. This is another way. This is called stroking a jig. Alright, so you're going to cast it out. Let it fall. Alright. Alright, it's on the bottom. Now reel up to a tight line and flip your rod just like that. You're going to pump the rod. Ready? So it's on the bottom again. I'm feeling it on the bottom and I'm going to pump my rod again. Similar to a hair jig, this is exactly how I would fish a hair jig. Let it hit the bottom again. Pump it again. Alright. Pump it again. Keep doing it all the way back to the boat when you're feeling it hit the bottom. You want to keep it on a semi-slack line. You don't want it, if it's too tight like this, you're never going to, it's going to take forever to hit the bottom if it ever does. So semi-slack line, you want your line kind of bowed. Right? Rip it up. Leave your line bowed like this. Alright? Rip it up. Let your line fall again. Real easy. That's called stroking it. That I, I, it's important too what you throw this on. You don't want to throw this on any wimpy shit, alright? Um, line is heavy line, 17 pound fluorocarbon. Um, you can use monofilament, but it's got a lot of stretch in it, so, you know, you don't want that much stretch in that jig. You want to be able to, you know, send it home as, as soon as they bite. So I got 17 pound fluorocarbon, a half ounce football head jig, um, a 7 6 medium heavy rod, um, and then I, I like a fast ratio reel. So I, I'm using a titanium um, 8 to 3 to 1, I think this one is, or 8 to 1. It's, it's a fast gear ratio. Um, you can use a slower gear ratio, but it's going to take you a much longer for you to reel up that slack. You know, when they bite the, hook, the when they bite the bait and they're running full speed at you and you go to pick up that line it takes a lot more effort for you to 
reel a hundred times before you get that line up than it does with a fast gear ratio where you reel up maybe three or four cranks and then, you know, send them out off your ledges. So, or smallmouth. Smallmouth like, you know, that up and down motion. Because they're going to get it when it falls. So what you're doing is basically making a repetitive, instead of making a repetitive cast, you're making a cast on each time you pump that rod because that bait's falling again. Um, so that's, I mean, it's pretty basic. A, a jig is a jig. Um, I, I, I usually stay with standard colors, which green pumpkin or black and blue. I, I've never found a need for anything else. Um, you can go crazy with the colors and, and you know, experiment with it and, and do what you want to do, but for the most part, they're going to eat one or the other. Um, the colder the water is, the less action you want on your trailer. Um, the warmer the water is, the more action you want on the trailer. So right now this water is 85 degrees. Um, so I'm using a trailer that has a lot of action. Which really, there is no improper way to fish it. Um, there's ways that work a lot better than others, but there's really not an improper way. Um, I've seen people cast it out and just reel it back to the boat. But now I would suggest if you're gonna do that, you reel it out and let it hit the bottom. All right, so it's falling on a semi-slack line, right? If you're going to just reel it straight back to the boat, you're going to do a super slow reel. Just so that you're feeling the bottom on everything. It just looks like that little bait is scooting across the bottom. Um, I, if you're doing it too fast, then the water is going to stay up from the bottom and you're really not going to, you're not going to do much that way. Um, but like I said, my number one favorite way to fish it is just old man it you know sit back and just slowly drag it and some days they'll want it faster than others but for the most part if you sit back and you're patient you just drag that jig you're going to get bit there's there's no question about it um, it's just such an easy technique that works anywhere in the country any place river lake um, pond you name it 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 works all right simple technique if you guys got any questions or you want me to do another video on something else that uh how to fish anything um just put down in the comments and i'll get back to you and, and do it as soon as i can um eh, there's the jig it straight up works man it straight up works